good morning everyone how are we hope you're all okay um so i have been so quiet on my youtube recently um i did film a video the other day just before we went into lockdown but we are now fully in tier four which is really sad so i just wanted to film my day today uh, i'm probably gonna do more of a like what i eat in a day um and i have a photo shoot next week so i am a little bit more hot on what i'm eating at the moment um i've got a little protein shake uh, and i'm just about to go meet my mum for a socially distant walk um with my dog uh because obviously i had covid over christmas so i actually didn't really see my family and then we went back into tier four so i literally came out of November lockdown for about six days and then went into isolation then came out for three days and then went into tier four I'm really trying to become like more positive and yeah I'm feeling really happy this morning and um, I got up earlier um, I've been really struggling like getting up early since having covid i'm just exhausted i'm so tired um so i managed to get up at eight o'clock this morning which is really good bearing in mind i normally get up at like six um i just can't do it at the moment i definitely need to go to bed earlier as well um but yeah i can't wait for you to follow my day see what i eat see what i get up to um and if you have any questions just let me know Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just stood in a, in a bog basically and now my socks are probably going to be mucky through Goodbye, goodbye See you later Yeah, see you later Bye <laughs> She always turns her head Bye <laughs> What? What are you doing? I'm going banana and biscoff today for my overnight oats. So I get some biscoff, I put it in that, and then I just melt it, literally for like five or 10 seconds in the microwave. Right, so now I'm gonna just pour that onto here. Sometimes it takes And obviously having this will definitely stop me from binging, so I'm going to treat myself. Right, it is time to do some more work. Um, back on to here, and I'm going to do just some planning again. Tomorrow is actually check-in day for a lot of clients, but where it's just been chaotic with um, obviously changing everyone's plans and everything, it feels like I've just been working like non-stop for the last few days, um, so... Hopefully after tomorrow's check-ins, I will feel a little bit more relaxed with work, um, but never mind. Uh, it's fun and I love it, so I cannot complain. Just a little bit of high-protein granola and some yoghurt. 
a lemon yogurt. I feel like the yeah, lemon goes with it really well. Like reminds me of like cheesecake. Yeah, that lemon yogurt is really good to be fair. That's I think that about any lemon yogurt is such a good like flavour. I am now going to use my mask of Magnum Minty. It is literally one of my favourite things from Lush. <laughs> So many of you guys ask what tan I wear, what I do when I'm about to tan, so I thought why not do a little tanning regime for you guys. So I'm just about to get in the bath. First of all, what I'm going to do, because it's uh, tan day today, I'm going to exfoliate with this Beauty Pie uh, Super Healthy Skin. So I, I, I've only just started using this, I got this for Christmas, um, it's basically just like a body polish exfoliator, um, but I was using a different one before. Um, but I'm going to try this one out today, see how I get on. Um, it smells amazing. And then after I'm going to get in the bath and I'm going to just shave my legs and then I'm going to get out and show you exactly what I do. We're going to go for it now. So first of all, I am going to moisturise. So again, I'm not, this is not an advertisement, I'm just using their products again. So this is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin moisture cream and i'm literally just gonna put it on my elbows on my knees and on my ankles um just anywhere that essentially i don't want it to collect and lovely i don't want it to collect and kind of go scaly essentially all done obviously gonna put my hair up so this is what i currently use and i tend to use it whenever I am doing any photo shoots or any videoing or anything like that for my social media and um, just because it's really good on camera because it's so dark um, so this is just dark I tried ultra dark and it was it was bad so this is what I use sometimes this is what I tend to use a lot of the time and this is what people question me on um, I do also use a Rimmel mousse which is one of my absolute favorites Reason that I really like that is because it's slightly lighter than this, so it's a little bit more natural. Um, it also washes off really easily, which I suppose sounds like a, a negative, but actually it's really good because it, it washes off quite like evenly. Whereas I'd say this is a little bit more kind of patchy once it starts washing off. So we're gonna go in with the St. Moritz. Obviously, I just use one of these little velvet um, mitts because, the only reason I actually use one of these is because I hate it when it gets onto my finger on the outside um, or onto Matt's finger on the outside which he is going to come in in a minute because he obviously is my glamorous assistant and I will need him so obviously I'm just going to put some on here I don't know why I'm kind of teaching you how to uh, fake tan because I'm pretty sure most of you guys know exactly how to rub on fake tan um, one thing that I always do is I make sure I'm doing it in front of a mirror so that when I do the back of my legs I can always see um, and make sure you're doing it in good lighting because otherwise, again, it could be an absolute disaster. Put your hand out. You ever seen a chest like this? Mm -hmm. You've, You've got seen dribbles down. You've got dribbles No, it's not. It's from where I shaved, actually. Right. right Mitt on. West Country bunk here. This is going on my back, all right? Okay. Now, the body is done. So as you can see, obviously go right up onto my neck here and sometimes it causes like a little bit of can you see I don't know what I'm what I'm trying to say but it goes up onto my face so this is what I actually use on my face so something totally different so this is I don't know if you can see that it's dripping gold by um, Suzanne Jackson so Sue dripping gold and there is actually a fake tan of this I've not actually tried it but I bought this in lockdown number one and I use this honestly probably two, three times a week and look how much is still left. And that honestly was like nine pounds. It's so good. Uh, the reason that I don't use normal fake tan on my face is I've always, or used to have really, really bad acne and then I went on to Accutane. Um, so I just get a little bit worried that, if you can kind of see my scars underneath, I just get a little bit worried using just a normal tan. So this is really simple. You just spray it from onto your face like that and then with your brush you're just going to dab it in and then obviously I just make sure that I wipe round and down my neck so that it all matches in 
What? Hello. Hello. I've come for friendship. Like so. And then Mama just like Caesar. this. I'm just ignoring you. You're sexy Mama Caesar. I look so unsexy right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Okay, cool. And now I'm done. So normally, obviously, I would just sleep in this, but today I'm actually going to go and train. Uh, but I'm filming, so hopefully all will be okay. I forgot to also say that the face spray does develop, so it obviously looks like my face is still really pale right now, but that will develop over time. And sometimes I just top it up over the week. Um, but yeah, so good. So I'm just awaiting on a few replies with um, some of my clients. So I have just started writing out some of the things I'm gonna do for the next few days. Just, I love having it in front of me. And I also love just adding things in when I need to. So I'm a bit annoyed that I've done the arrows because I possibly might add things in in the middle. Um, I did also get some cute um, highlighters for Christmas, so I might use them because I love making this kind of stuff really pretty. Um, but yeah, organisation is 100% key. Um, I just find that it helps so, so, so much. <laughs> So we are about to have heaters. Matty bought a heater kit. Yum, delicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Do you feel bad? Yeah, I'm no, so you sorry. Don't. Why really did you do that? You did that on purpose. I just thought it would be funny if I squished his head. <laughs> Look at him. He looks really sad. <laughs> don't touch him. You can, you're not having anything to do with him anymore. Basically, I just had a sip of his drink and then I thought there was something in the drink. I looked into the cup and I thought there was dust in there, so I spat it back out. And um, actually, it wasn't. It was a brand new, fresh glass of water. So I don't know what what, what I thought was in there. It. Fresh before you spat in it. So then I went spat down to get him water. a new. <laughs> you absolute <laughs> creature, just spitting in my water. So I went downstairs, and obviously, like I showed you guys a couple of days ago, we've got a box full of loads of Christmas chocolates oh, i had this little this really cute little reindeer <laughs> he won't even focus and matt just squished him i'm honestly devastated because he was absolutely adorable anyway i'm gonna eat eat him and <laughs> So sad he was so <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat him. But yes, until then, see you soon.